हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द लर्निंग सेशन आई एम योगिता आर सब्जेक्ट इज सेक्यूरिटी नर्सिंग एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट टर्मिनोलॉजीज लेट अस पिक द लेटर डी एंड लेट स्टडी द टर्मिनोलॉजीज व्हिच स्टार्ट्स विद डी फर्स्ट डिफेंस मैकेनिज्म डिफेंस मैकेनिज्म इज अ मेथड व्हिच हेल्प अस टू प्रोटेक्ट आवर ईगो फ्रॉम अ सर्टेन काइंड ऑफ एंजाइटी या एंजाइटी एसोसिएटेड फीलिंग्स Sorry, you may have studied certain defense mechanism: repression, regression, denial, fantasy. See, lot of defense mechanism we studied. Now, this defense mechanism is also known as mental mechanism, as well as it also known as ego defense mechanism. Next, deinstitutionalization. It means. a removal of mentally ill patient from the institution or maybe from hospital and subsequently making a plan to provide a care to these mentally ill patient in community setting so commonly what we can say once the patient is psychiatric ill we may completely admit them in hospital we may not think of bringing them to the home so we will pay money we will give the treatment so now we are making a change in this plan that means we will discharge them from hospital and will bring them to the home and along with the family members along with the love and care of family members we are providing a care to these people we are providing assistance to these mentally ill people that kind of care that is known as deinstitutionalization next delirium tremors like we might have we studied previous classes like how in uh, tremors like uh, shaking of hands can be seen in the patients now a uh, delirium tremens can seen in patient with those who were like uh, addiction to alcohol and when they had a uh, absentees you are not taken uh, alcohol for certain duration 2 3 days certain hours absentees then that will lead to the complaint called delirium tremors it is associated with the tremors hallucination tiredness irritability so mainly in case of ads patient we can see this compl- uh, complaint when they are withdrawal from alcohol next deja vu now deja vu means it is a subjective feeling of individual which has experiencing for the first time happening for the first time but associated with the feeling which happened before now for example even in our daily life sometimes we may have that experience like something happening for very first time like your mother uh, brought a uh, ice cream to you and gave you an ice cream so very first time she brought that chocolate flavor ice cream and given you but when you receiving that ice cream you feel a feeling that before also same like that situation happened that your mother brought one ice cream and given you that you are you were sitting like this in this car and mother has given you the ice cream see actually in reality it's happening for the very first time but where the subject i feel that it happened before i had the same experience before a such kind of feeling is known as deja vu now dementia dementia is a acquired global impairment of intellect memory personality but without impairment of consciousness now dementia is also known as alzheimer disease or alzheimer dementia so we know this condition in elderly age above 60 or 70 years people you can see this dementia condition where they are having impairment in their memory intelligence and they are having restlessness but there is no impairment in your consciousness next delirium delirium is an acute organic brain disorder characterized by impairment in consciousness disorientation disturbance in their perception and restlessness so this is also an organic brain disorder where we can see disturbance impairment in their conscious disturbance in their perception disorientation here patient is not much oriented to the day time place and the person and restlessness so this is known as delirium next delusion delusion 
delusion is a false unshakable belief of an individual so this is called delusion they are having a false belief false unshakable belief now mainly we can see these uh, features in psychotic condition like person is having paranoid schizophrenia mainly we can see delusion in such people next now depression now depression is a condition is a mood disorder where person feel that low in their feeling they are having a feeling of sadness guilt and a feeling of hopelessness and helplessness decreased sleep so these all the features when the person exhibit then that is called as depression next depersonalization in depersonalization a person subjective sense of being unreal or strange he a person feel that example a person individual patient may feel that his personality is not correct the way he live he is unreal so some kind of abnormality what he sense about himself this is called depersonalization next derealization derealization means a person subject you sense to the environment that is unreal and strange so he is not aware about the reality that he feel that the environment where he is living is unreal it's strange or unfamiliar to him next uh, here disorientation disorientation means here the individual or the patient not oriented to the environment like day time place person they are not oriented when the person is not aware or not oriented to his environment that is known as de disorientation next diselfaramine now diselfaramine is a drug of choice in case of alcohol deterrent therapy a medication which is prescribed in case of alcohol deterrent therapy where we can start with the dosage of 500 mg beginning for 2 weeks and later maintenance dose we can give 250 mg per day so this drug is called diselfaramine dyslexia now dyslexia is a learning disorder so here mainly a reading skill of an individual will be affected mainly we can see in a small children example i can give you you can you might have watched the film tare zameen par where a very beautifully they presented a complaint of dyslexia where a small child is suffering with the problem called reading disorder they are not able to read they are not able to grasp this is called dyslexia next condition is dystonia dystonia means it is a movement muscles a rigidity with their posture gait or eye movement so with the word we can understand difficult in the muscle tone mainly to their posture or making any gait they are finding difficulties that, that is what called dystonia so these are the main terminologies what we can study with the help of d i hope you understood please keep watching so still more letters are pending so that we can learn all the terminologies until then take care of yourself keep reading keep watching it's a time to say bye bye to all thank you to all